dude. You're insane. Not trying to be mean. Robert, what's up? Response video to your video. What makes a good channel? Um, like basically summing up like you had said. Um, I think I actually touched base on this like in the past. But I guess that's like due for an update, you know. Um, I'm gonna be putting this on my side channel, so you know there's gonna be a lot of distractions and stuff like that and copyright material. In fact, I could even put music on if I have my speakers plugged in right now. Someone's not happy. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Look right there. Right there. Right there. See? Say hi. Hi. You're on the screen. So what makes a good channel? Effort and um, being proud of your channel and your material you put up on there. What I had stated before in an older video on my main channel was um, everyone's starting off from the beginning, you know, not knowing exactly what to do with their channel, you know. You know, just be real with it. You know, um, enjoy what you do. Even if you, you know, make videos with the uh, poorest camera ever, uh, as long as you enjoy what you do, that's all that matters, you know. Right? Right? Yeah. You want to talk right now? You want to talk right now? Okay. So be real with it, you know. Um, you gotta enjoy what you do. Because if you don't enjoy it, then others won't enjoy it. Um, I want the name Secondhand Hunter. That covers a wide variety of stuff, you know. Anything that you can find at Goodwill, basically. You gonna say bye? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. 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 All right. He's camera shy. Bye. Camera shy. But um. You can find vinyl, CDs, 8-tracks, you know, tapes, Betamax, I haven't found any yet, but it's possible. Don't tip that over. Video games, you know, electronics, stereo equipment. You can find a numerous amount of stuff at Goodwill or Value Village or Salvation Army. Wherever you thrift at, you know? Garage sales, too. That's a good way to make a good buck, right? There is garage sales. But, um... Stuff that I've been doing, you know? I started off with the gaming community. I started off with 49er Nation 1 questions. Which, that was a bad apple. You can type in 49er Nation 1 in the YouTube search and get a parody video of the BS that he did before. He's like, oh, I'm done and everything like that. Took him a hiatus after making fun of a whole bunch of people. And, oh, I'm just joking. Screw you, dude, you know? You completely screw people over. And then, oh, I'm just joking. You can do stuff like that, you know? And that, that's just an example right there. You gotta be real, you know? You can't be out trying to screw people over. And I'm trying to keep it clean. I was just like gonna say another word right there, but got my kids running around. That's not a good idea for me to do when they're awake. When I'm at the cave, that's all cool, you know. But um, that's what turns me off on a channel is um, dishonesty, you know. If uh, if someone holds a contest and then they never, you know, send out the prizes, you know. 
like there's this other dude that's in the gaming community that has 700 subs and on his about list it's like oh i reached uh, 100 subs at this date and 200 300 400 500 600 700 and the dates list it's like who cares who cares about your sub count i don't i don't care about my sub count i appreciate everyone that's sub to me you know and when I first started off with this thing, eh, three years ago now, two, two years ago, two years ago now, because it was um, December, like December 14th of, um, it was 2013 now, so um, 2011. Well, actually, back in September of 2011, I was considering YouTube because I was watching stuff like Gamester 81, Classic Game Room, EdT1138, which I found him through his flea market Nintendo pickup video thingy. And then through EdT1138, I think I found like Ryan right now, and I also found uh, Into the Past, which he's no longer doing videos. It'd be nice to see him make a comeback. I didn't do VC. Um, the only dude that I interrupt or um, I made a response video to a contest. I'm trying to pull it up right now. With with a dude that was actually within the VC, and I'm sorry, I'm not looking at you right now. I'm looking at my computer screen. Um, it was his 50th sub contest at the time, and he asked. Um, have a, I actually asked a couple questions like, um, have I ever bought a uh, vinyl record just by the cover art and something like, uh, what's my favorite vinyl I own? And at the time, which uh, you can actually look on this side page here, I had a very limited collection. Uh, it's a record collection 2011 or something like that. I'm trying to pull it up. But I think the dude's name was Poodsy or something. Um, yeah, but he's subbed to my, um, main channel. I don't think he's subbed to this one. Yeah, 2011 Vinyl Collection is what it's titled on, uh, this side channel here, 2ND Hand Hunter. And I'm not seeing the, um, response. So it must be on my main channel. Yeah. Well, I'll flip over that real quick and keep talking to you right now. But I really didn't have any influence with the vinyl community. I didn't have that many uh, records at the time. Oh, excuse me. How rude of me. Sorry. So, um, I really couldn't participate in stuff, you know? And it wasn't until I got the record haul from uh, the uh, Faith Lutheran Church, like 100 something records for five bucks, you know? Some of them were um, um, bargain bin titles, you know. But still, that kicked off my vinyl collecting, you know. This is like, oh my goodness, you know. And still, I don't have nearly as much as I'd like to have as far as uh, vinyl records, but I have a good amount that I enjoy listening to, you know. And, I think that's what it's all about is um, if you enjoy it then you know awesome then you're you're doing something that you're passionate about and nobody can stop you with that you know yeah looking through a whole bunch of old stuff like um, I had really no direction it was just 49er Nation 1 questions for a while and then I did a trade with him and got the uh, splinter cell and I was able to soft mod my Xbox and put a couple emulated games on my uh, Xbox. I think I can find the dude through my sub list. But um, yeah, ever since then, he, he used to call me on my phone and everything like that. He lived in LA and I'm up um, north of that. And it, it's always seemed like it was, um, one-sided is what I'm saying um, to do the talk and talk and talk and talk and call it inconvenient times a lot of the time and 
Um, this is like, dude, I can't talk right now. And okay, whatever type of thing. Screw you, whatever. And um, that kind of got like a uh, bad taste. And there was one time I was on Skype with him, um, a video chat. And then I guess he started making fun of my daughter for crying or something like that. And offended my wife. And then it was on between them two. And she's like, I don't like that guy. I don't want you talking to that guy no more and everything. And um, so I kind of had to take my wife's side. Here we go. I found it. Oops. Zoom in right there. That dude right there with the... Uh, Rainbow One Pood C. He was my first um, contact with the VC. Sorry, I couldn't find my uh, response video, but maybe it got lost within the um, change of the channels and stuff like that. Knock it off! Don't make me come over there! I'll take care of it. But, um,. I enjoyed what I saw when I first uh, got my first interaction with the VC, you know. I um, Well, then again, I never really even had uh, a major video game collection up until the point where last summer when I got the uh, PlayStation 2 uh, haul from the garage sale. I could have actually sold that. I should have actually bought the um, PlayStation 2 system that they had. But then again, buying with my wife's money and everything like that is just like, yeah, it's an iffy area. Like what John the Picker was saying. I think it was John the Picker saying you should have bought that stuff. Uh, you could have um, flipped it for four times what you would have paid for it. You know, it's just like, yeah, that, that would have been cool. And I could have too. I've done stuff like that before. I flipped stuff for four or five times of what I paid for it. Um, there was a time when I got a V Smile game lot from uh, Goodwill, and I paid four dollars for a lot of um, six, seven, eight games. I think I'm guessing right now because it was such a long time ago, and I sold half of it for you know, like two, three dollars per cartridge, you know, and I definitely like quad tripled or quadrupled quad tripled quadrupled my um, profit you know so there's money out there to be made you just gotta know the um, avenues to take you know what's uh, what's going down in your area you know type of thing because uh, I know in different areas there's like more um, demand for like books and like uh, I still kind of haven't found the niche in this area. It's I know video games is a big thing, but finding it cheap and selling it um, at a profit, you know, it's just like you gotta know where to look. But um, definitely vinyl is a big one. But everything I find, I want. I don't want to resell my vinyl, you know. Even the, the lot that I got from Faith Lutheran. I, I really can't sell that more than a nickel each or something like that, but um, because no one wants bargain bin vinyl, you know. They want the uh, the good stuff, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Led Zeppelin, you know. And if you find stuff like that at Goodwill and you have it in your collection, definitely, definitely get it because um, you can make a pretty penny off of it at times, and who knows, you might even find a first pressing, you know. Replace your copy or even, you know. Get you a big chunk of change in your pocket, you know? You never know. So there, there's always stuff out there at like Kid Rolls and stuff that, um, that you can get lucky on, you know? I know. I'm rambling. <laughs> this is my side channel. I'm allowed to do stuff like this. I'm allowed to, you know, bullshit with you guys and do what I want because I'm not getting paid right here on this channel. It's a different story on my main channel. I have to be serious over there, so I can I can bullshit with you right now. But um, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate everyone. Um, that, which that also makes me think if I didn't have a side channel, those extra 14 subscribers would that add my um, grand main total for my main channel up to like 300 and 
20 something people or no um, yeah that'd be close to that 319 I don't know or would it still stay the same I don't know I'm just glad I'm gonna get a AdSense paycheck but anyways that's besides the point there I'm uh, I don't mean to break I'm sorry Star Wars is a big one I do video games as I stated I am super happy about the VC now um, it's been slow I've put effort on my part and everything like that it's just like um, jumping out there and you know the community y'all gotta like work together and you know spread light to the small people um, starting up and everything like that and I know um, there's a new dude that started off recently David Darkside of, the, of the Zoom he was like just starting off and exploded in subs you know and it's just like that that's what can happen you know if uh, spread light on the uh, um, little people you know basically but that that's what's got to happen and I think there's a sense of having to um, you know promote yourself too it, which, which that's where I lack at because I basically like put it up there and someone will watch it you know whatever someone will watch it I don't really views they can stay at zero views and I'll still be happy because that's my hobby I'll upload that video you know it'll be up there I'll have a thousand videos up there and as if this still stays at zero views then I'm happy it's my hobby have a uh record spinning video showing you what it sounds like you know like the like the Beatles one I had or uh, hollow points you know and it's if you want to watch it cool hey I think this is cool you might like it too and if you like it thumbs up or you know comment and everything like that and it's like hey that's a bonus right on you know that's how I feel about it I'm not a sub or nothing like that I you know yeah, it's always exciting. It's it's a thrill when I see. Oh, now I have 15 subscribers on my side's channel. You know, hey, that's cool. Or like, uh, hey, I got 304 people that like my stuff on my main channel. You know, that's 304 people that can click on the ads before they watch my video or something. You know, whatever, whatever. But um, it, it's it's just a cool thing. I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy it so much. And where I am now is entirely different from where I was when I first started. As I said before, I had no direction. There have been months, even close to a year, where I wasn't making nothing, putting nothing up on my channel. This is like, what's the point? No one watches my stuff. All my stuff sucks. But if you have that outlook, then yeah, it's gonna suck. But if you enjoy what you do, and if you're passionate about it, as I'm being passionate with you guys right now, I need more coffee. Don't worry, I'll wait till the end of this video to get another cap. I'm not gonna put you guys through that again. But if you're passionate about what you do, and then people are gonna like, dude, this dude's really cool, you know, he really enjoys what he does, and you know, he's he's just really entertaining to watch, you know, like, Robert, I never want to see you in a bra again. That was creepy. Don't do it again. <laughs> but that was funny what you said about your dog and stuff like that. But all the other side bits, that was entertaining. <laughs> um... I think I'm pretty much done. I think I've put you guys through enough of waiting after like 20 minutes of me just babbling. <sighs> Bye. Thanks for watching everyone. Check out Robert Z now that my camera just flipped over. He's an awesome dude. He um, is <laughs> entertaining as hell. I just don't like seeing you in a bra. Bye. Thanks for watching.